Welcome back everyone. So this is technically method number two. Uh, we're doing a bypass on a Stylo 5, Stylo 6. Specifically in this case now we're doing a Stylo 6 running Android 10. Uh, Stylo 6 is a Q730 by LG and this one just must have a newer patched up version of Android 10 because it bypasses my method that I made last week um, with the Stylo 5 Android 10 bypass. So go ahead and just get all the way here, log into your, uh, your Wi-Fi, and then we'll proceed to show you some of the stuff they patched as well as um, our next step into this. And if your phone's taking longer to install updates and stuff like that, go ahead and uh, just pause the video and, and so that way then you can get all this. I'm just trying to get through this as fast as humanly possible so you guys can get the gist of how this has to go. All right, now that it's stuck at that spot, go over to your other Android. I prefer using another Android because Bluetooth to Bluetooth only works Android to Android. So from here, connect this thing, of course, to Wi-Fi as well. Um, and we're going to go ahead and lock down a SIM card because uh, you need a PUK SIM lock on a phone or on a SIM, I should say. So just type in SIM lock into your settings. Go to the first thing and let's lock this thing down. You got three attempts to basically guess it wrong. And then once you've guessed it enough times wrong, it's then gonna lock it down for us so we can use it in this Stylo 6. Pull it out at that point, but we're gonna stay on the Android that you're using. All right. Then once you're here, then we're gonna go back. And I want you to go to Chrome, Internet, wherever you gotta go in order to get where you need to be. Because what you wanna type in here is First Cousin. It's gonna bring up images touch the first one, hold it down, and download it, because you'll need that later. All right, we'll put that off to the side. We're gonna need that for Bluetooth purposes in a while. From here, go all the way back. Now, one of the things they patched here at the beginning screen is when we do this PUK SIM lock, when you go to in, uh, uninsert it, like we would in the last video from last week on the Stylo 5, it it resets the phone now. So they programmed a variable where if the, the SIM card's removed, automatically reset the phone. We're gonna utilize that though. So we're gonna insert it. I'm gonna pull it out so you can see the reset I'm talking about. PUK lock comes up. We're gonna remove it. And it's gonna say SIM removed and reset. There it goes. Now put it back in. We're going to wait all the way until the phone loads all the way up again and shows that PUK screen. Once it shows the PUK screen, as soon as you see it, you need to pull the SIM card back out. And I would do a full removal. I've already had to redo this video once because I didn't do a full removal of the SIM. Accidentally reinserted it and reset the whole phone again and screwed up. So this one's a Boost Mobile specific, but we're not going to pull it out at any point right now. Literally wait until you see that first screen with it on the screen and then immediately pull. You're basically not giving it enough time to recognize that you're actually doing it. Even though the screen will say that it's been done, it, it for some reason doesn't recognize and, and the variable in order to reset the phone. Hopefully yours loads faster than this, geez. All right, boom. See how fast that was? As soon as it's on the screen, pull it and do a full removal. All right, and then once you're here, you're good. So then we can hold down Bluetooth and then we can turn the Bluetooth portion of this phone on. Go ahead and do that. Come back over to your other Android. Now you're going to want to go to settings and you're going to go to connections and then Bluetooth. And then you're going to see that one's already been paired. I've done this once or twice. You're going to hit the S7, in which case it then should ask you two things. You're going to hit OK on obviously one of them and pair on the other one. It's then going to sync the devices. Then from the S7 that I'm on, but whatever Android you're on, go to your gallery. Once you've had the gallery, bring up your one photo, or if you have multiples, but whatever. You're going to hit the button down here, which is your share button. And you're going to share over Bluetooth, which is the symbol right there. Then it's going to come up asking, do you want to accept this? There you go. In progress should say a message about being done, but maybe it's too fast and it won't show it. So then you just go here to received files 
and there it is. Now from here, they changed something else. Here before used to be photos in the last video that I just did last week where you would hit photos and you would be able to go to the Google Lens that you're trying to get to. Files does absolutely nothing. You're going to go to gallery now. Now you'll notice at the very top of this, and this is what I found out the other day, hitting Google Lens right here worked fine. Now there's another way that if you hit this and it says couldn't load, there's another way to still do this. You're going to hit the drop down here and you're going to go to camera. From camera, at the camera area, there's going to be one right about there on the screen, and we're going to use it. So let's see if this one actually takes... See how it says couldn't load? It's like they already patched that method already. <laughs> and even though I didn't do an update, that was like an over-the-air, an OTA. So just go here to the three dots, hit camera. It's going to ask, yes, next, fine, done. Turn on, doesn't make a difference. Then it's going to ask for allow, sure. And then there's the Google Lens down there. You're going to hit that. And then it brings up an area to where you can finally select, yep, got it. Your gallery is on the top. So hit your gallery button. From there, your photo is going to be there that you down, you just sent over Bluetooth. Click that, and then it's going to come up with the cousin thing that we want. And this is just like the other video that I did, method one for the Stylo 5. You're going to hit then the Google search. This brings up a mock version of Google. So you have to get out of this and you have to go to YouTube. So then it brings that. Nope, 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 nope. All right, so then you just type in YouTube, go to YouTube. First one that comes up for me brings up the full on app. So then once the app comes up, you're going to go into here and you're going to type in my name on here because we have a couple videos now the Stylo 5 video as well as my main video, um, or I should say my biggest video. Uh, has the link that we need out of this. So then select Cellular Helper. First video that comes up is my 280K. You're welcome to go to that. That's the one I would recommend. Yep, hit no thanks to their ad. X to that ad. Then you want to drop down my description and then scroll down a little bit to where you see google.com. Now this will be the regular version of Google. And from here, go ahead and search out quick shortcut maker APK once you have it scroll down to where you get to APK mirror I like them they're not too bad they're easy I mean you see one click I'm gonna have to do one other click and it's gonna be downloading alright and then once you have it hit OK it's gonna be quick so then hit open yep your settings aren't there so yep allow from other sources there we go, back, install, and then once installed, opener. Cool, cool, there we go. Yep, it tells you it's an old version, doesn't make a difference, hit OK. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to be going all the way down to settings is what you're looking for. Just like, again, we did in the first Method 1 video um, last week for the Stylo 5. You're going to hit settings and the one I'm looking for is settings.settings. .settings. Other ones here might work. I just don't know so I'm not even trying. So I'm just going to hit that one and hit try. And as soon as it comes up you'll see fingerprint. Touch that. Go next and this is where you're going to enter in your pin. So go ahead and do the pin and for sake of argument of any degree just do four zeros. Easiest thing you can do. So that way then you remember it and don't mess it up of any sort. Then it's going to want your fingerprint. So then go ahead and just turn it around, do your fingerprint real quick, get that whole thing done. It's a little process. You have to do supposedly all parts of your finger. You're going to have to hold it right and all this other craziness. So that way then you can get it all the way to 100%. And then once it's at 100%, you'll be able to go on to the last step. And that's just hitting back on everything. We're not going to have to restart the phone. We're not going to have to do nothing. You just literally simply just hit back over and over and over again until you get all the way back to the main screen again. There it is. So then from here you just hit next. Skip because we don't have a SIM card in it, doesn't matter. Go ahead and hit next on your Wi-Fi so it continues through that. Let it go through this. It's going to come back up with the pin question again and this is where you enter the pin you just made. So then as soon as we get to do that we're not going to copy. You obviously don't know the Google account. It's going to come up saying something about the Google account but you have nothing to worry about. You're going to hit OK. It's now going to take your PIN. It's going to come up asking you to put your Google account on it because the Google account at this point doesn't exist. So then just skip it. 
Skip, skip. Got more, accept. Go down, hit OK. Completing the setup, adding finishing touches. And then you're going to be, I think there's another question or two from here. And then you're going to be at the main screen. Agree to all. Not that you probably want to because there's one that's optional and you never want to do optional stuff because that's where they're stealing information typically. And boom, there you guys go. Now we're at the main screen and all the icons and everything like that. Make sure to like and subscribe, please. And if you find that this works with other models, let me know. If it doesn't work in other models, let me know those models. I'll try to acquire one or I'll try to get one to where I can help you guys out. I don't do this very often, so when I stumble upon something like this, obviously I'm going to post it for everybody um, because it's all about trying to keep this community going and getting us around these little locks like this that hurt customers like this was the customer's phone of ours and they just happened to forget it i guess the store set it up and never told them the information threw the information away and they were locked out of their phone after there was an update or something like that so here you are thanks again uh thanks for watching